You're tuned in to the Brand Ambassador Select Podcast. Welcome back to the Brand Ambassador Select Podcast, where we are showcasing the coolest brands and gifts along with featuring movers and makers. I'm your host, Lenore, and today we're joined by the Grandmapreneur. That's right, she is a grandma entrepreneur. Her name is Connie Inukai, and she's on her second act by creating items and products for her baby boomers generation. So let me show you her tip and split. It is a device to help people read small print on the menus and bills and figure out a tip and split the bill in absolutely seconds. So Connie Inukai, welcome to the Brand Ambassador Select Podcast. Thank you very much, Lenore. Um, I- I'm so glad to be here. Now, I've been watching you. Oh, thanks. I hope I look just as pretty on our Zooms as as I've done on all the other ones. Wonderful. You're so cute. So thank you for sending us your tip and split calculator. Now tell us all about this and why we should be incorporating it into our lives. Okay. Well, actually, um, since the holidays are coming up, this is a wonderful gift to give to parents or grandparents because what you give them I mean, uh, if we're still uh, full of life, we don't just, we really don't appreciate just uh, slippers and a bathrobe because we like to go out and soon we will be going out. So I invented this for people, um, uh, mainly mainly older people, but it can be used by anybody. Um, I invented it, it's got a magnifier and a light. And this this is so when you go out to a restaurant and you can't read the small print on the menu or the bill. Uh, have you had that problem yet, Lenore? Probably not. Uh, it depends. It depends on how, uh, if I need eye drops or not that day. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, I'm sure you've gone out with your parents or oh, grandparents. Oh my gosh. The amount of glasses that are in the car. And then it's right. like, oh no, I forgot my glasses. Can you read the menu for me, Lenore? And I'm like, no, I don't want to read the menu for you, but I have to do it anyway. Exactly. That's why I invented this. So we don't have to be dependent on people with good eyesight (laughs) because as you get older, the eyes get worse. And uh, I know that I can't read the um, directions on medicine when I have to take it. Like, I don't even know how many Advil's to take. I always have to to look at it with my magnifier. So uh, so I invented this mainly for restaurants because um, I like to go out to eat with my friends. And somebody has reading glasses that we pass around, but sometimes they don't. So this, so with this one, you can use the magnifier to shine it on the menu and read it. So you don't have to ask other people or ask the server. And the light uh, is very um, discreet. It's not like the light on a, an iPhone. And then it also can figure out a tip and split the bill in seconds. For example, you turn on the on uh, uh, switch and then you can put in a bill, say the bill is $147.22. I don't know if you can see that, I don't think so. But you push enter, then you put in a tip, whatever percent you want. So I'm gonna put in 19%, okay? Then you uh, push enter and it gives you the tip. You push enter again, it tells you the total. You push enter again and say there are five people eating, you put in a five and you push enter and it'll tell you what each person pays. Like 35 bucks, I did 20%. So I'm at 35, 33. And actually, if you want to, okay, yours shows better on the screen than mine. So if you want to, you can go back and you can change some of, so so I gave 19%, you gave 20%. Mm-hmm. You Maybe the server was exceptional. So you can go back and change it to 22%. How do I go you back? Do, okay, so push enter again. Uh, you got the bill total, push enter again, tip. So you have 20, change it to 22. Enter. Enter. 32.39, that's Then the enter again. Then if I do enter again, that's 179.61. Then push enter again, there are five people. Split by five and enter, 35.92. You see, and you can change it. Or you can, if the server was terrible at the end, you can change it to 15%, whatever you want to do. <laughs> and okay. then you just turn it off um, to save the battery. And actually, if you forget to turn it off, it'll go off in, in um, uh, three minutes by itself. Wait, did I miss the off button? 
uh, you just push the on button again. Okay. Okay. So if you hold that down, friends, hold it down. Yeah, you have to hold it down. Okay. So um, actually, my former husband helped me to to uh, to make all the algorithms for this to make it really easy to use. I like so, that it's simple enough where it's like it because when you have a regular calculator, you can do a multiplication, division, percentages, all this other stuff that I don't need, right? At least this is solely for just your tip and to just split it. So I don't, there's none other, any other functions that I can get confused exactly. about that's on here specifically. Exactly. Cause that's what I invented it for, for the restaurants, because I know the problem when I go out to eat, I, I just can't see. And some of the restaurants are so dark. I, you know, I built my own light on it because uh, uh, I know I don't like to have a smartphone at the table when I'm eating with friends because I get distracted and start checking my text messages. So this is to uh, take all the um, distractions away from the dinner table. And it's also fun because when you do it, um, everybody says, wow, what is that? So um, of course my friends know what it is, but uh, it, it's really easy to use. And um, it's, uh, we can all do the math like 20%. Most people do 20 because it's easier to calculate. But say you want to do something else. That's not quite so easy. Besides, after a few drinks, uh, nobody wants to do the math. No and way, the server Jose. doesn't want to split the bill for you. I don't know if you know that, but uh, servers hate it when you say, can you split this for us? Because then they have to do like a bunch of different transactions. Because then like, here's four credit cards. Can you split this four ways? And then at that point, are they even getting their, say, 20% tip between all four people? Maybe, maybe not. It really just, you know, depends. Now, I do like that you did say you have a light feature. So it is dim for those who, I don't know if you can really see it via the camera. So there is a dim light. But if I click the light button, it goes a little brighter. So oh, you can vaguely see bright off. So it helps you out when you're actually like, you know, looking down, which is, which is cool in that aspect. Now question, I see that this is a little battery pack, I guess at the, in the back. Now, if this died on me, I can change the batteries. Yes. In the instructions, it tells you what kind of batteries that come with it. But, um, uh, yeah, it has a battery. Usually it has a battery protector on it. So it can last for a long time. Like if it's mm -hmm. until you use it. But I, I took it out when I sent it to you because some people don't know how to, they're not used to getting the batteries free with it. Is, oh, what is it. This is one of those flat battery thingies. Yeah, it's a round one. LR44 to be exact, yeah. guys, according to the directions. Thank you for sending the directions for that, too. Magnifier LED shows you the value numeric. Yeah, it, it's very if you can't figure this out, then like, come on. Come on. Well, if you can't figure it out, I actually have a how-to instructions on my website. Oh, wonderful. So I was going to say, this is very self-explanatory. And even the directions that come with it, if you guys can see that I'm holding it up in front of me, it really points out exactly every single little thing that is on here. So that's fantastic in itself. Now, So you want to know how I got those instructions? How? Did you do them? Okay. Because I used to be a writing teacher at okay. the University of Maryland, and I taught technical writing to engineers and computer scientists. And actually, I got my idea right before I retired. And uh, every week, I would give my students an assignment. Well, I, t I told them to find a job they really wanted. And then they had to write an instruction manual for that job for the job that they were doing they had to pick something and write an instruction manual so as they were doing it i was writing those instructions so i was just working right alongside my students that's actually perfect so you met your own deadlines while they were meeting your deadlines that you gave them for their project yeah i gave them a lot of other projects that i used so um i i actually asked them to write a brochure for their company so i wrote a brochure for my company so, you know, I love teaching because I just was so infatuated with it. And then they were sharing all their instruction manuals and I was getting some ideas on how to make it even better. So did you actually, did you actually face any challenges or setbacks while trying to create the, the tip and split specifically? Uh, yeah, I did. The main problem I had was um, 
um, I found a manufacturer who was not really uh, uh, good. Okay. And they 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 were so slow, and I met them at a trade show, and um, the guy was speaking about manufacturing. So I said, "Oh, can you can you make this product for me?" And he said, "Sure. This is Engineering 101." Well, it took them one and a half years to complete Engineering 101, and then they kept sending it to me with defects. So that was my big problem. Uh, I, I had to work with them because they had already spent so much time on it. But that was my biggest problem that I faced. You overcame it because we, we have the product in hand right now. Right, right. So I, you know, I'm really so happy with it because I actually love it. I use it all the time. All my friends use it and they love it. And, um, I, you know, I'm having a lot of fun doing it. And um, what I really love is that I became an inventor at age 68, <laughs> okay? I knew nothing about inventing, so I just read a lot about it. I got a, I got some books called Invent, uh, Inventor for Inventions for Dummies. You know, all those kinds of books. I got them and I read them and I learned so many things about how to do. So I'm really proud of myself um, to uh, take on something new in my retirement. So tip and split, how much does this cost and where can we purchase it? Oh, okay, it's $19.95, but you can purchase it on my website, which is <clears throat> www.tipandsplit, with an and, split.com. But I have a special promo promotional uh, going on now for your viewers. And if you go on um, my website and you buy one for $19.95, and you put in the code, promo code HOLIDAY, you can get two. For the price of one? Yes, two for one. So you can you can uh, give one to your, uh, to your grandma and you can keep one for yourself. You know, it's definitely something that I would keep in the car all the time because you never know when you're gonna need it. And you, uh -huh. it's that exactly. right in the center console. So it's like, oh wait, Hey guys, by the way, like all of you guys owe me, um, insert how many dollars? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Which mm -hmm. is perfect. Yeah. Well, I, you know, I really like it. I'm glad you like it. It's, it's so much fun to use and it's, I, I'm just really proud of it. It's light, because... it's small, like, okay. So I have, I have a phone next to me right now. This is like an old, like eight. So you can see the, how it is fits like against it on size wise. So it really fits your hand and it's not too big. It's not too bulky. If I was able to get up right now, I'd show you that it can fit easily in my back pocket, which I don't want to do because my luck, I'd like sit on it by accident, <laughs> but it's that small. It's that lightweight. So it's not, it's not an inconvenience to throw in your bag or keep in your car or in your right. pocket for when you need it, which is perfect. Right. right. So, um, you know, I'm going to do something else for anybody who buys it. This one is not anything I've done before, but I have a little pouch to carry it. So anyone who buys one gets another one free and then gets a pouch. With the promo code HOLIDAY, right? Well, the HOLIDAY just gives you, yeah, the HOLIDAY. So the, I'll know it's from you guys. So you're going to get two. So I will give you two pouches and they're actually very, very cute. Let me, let me just go show you. I wasn't planning on this, but, um, here's a little pouch. Oh, so cute. And you can, you can just carry it in here and, uh, you know, you can, it's got, you know, it's got a wristband. You can carry it around like this. But you don't want to do that. But you can also put your credit card in here and your keys. So I will send that too. I have to remember to do that. Okay, so for any of your viewers who want to buy one, this is a great time to buy it. So that's tipandsplit.com, T-I-P-A-N-D-S-P-L-I-T.com. You can check them out on Facebook at Tip in Split. So that's T I P N. S P L I T. And obviously you can check out Connie too on Instagram at Grammapreneur Inventor, on Twitter at Grammapreneur, and you can check her out on her website, Grammapreneurinventor.com. Connie, thank you so much for joining us can and I showing say us one tip more and thing? split. Yes, go can right I ahead. One more? Okay. <clears throat> so uh for anyone who's who who's thinking about 
becoming an inventor or getting publicity, I actually wrote a book and it's called um, How I Got My Product on QVC, The Today Show, The View and More in Retirement. And if you want, if you sign up, subscribe to my website, grandmapreneurinventor.com, you get a free book. So, that sounds wonderful to me. Yeah, you can get it. I, I actually uh, sell this book on Amazon, but you know, I'm feeling like, you know, the holiday spirit. So anybody who signs up to my website, because I don't really have a great email list, so I'm trying to build it. So anyone who signs up with their email address is helping me and I will send you my book. So that is grandmapreneurinventor.com. Connie Indukai, the inventor of Tip and Split. And don't worry, we'll definitely be having her on another episode to show a bunch of her other inventions as well. So Connie, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you very much. So that's a wrap on another episode of the Brand Ambassador Select Podcast. I'm your host, Lenore. Hit that subscribe button so you never miss one. More at brandambassadorselect.com and we will see you next time.